Okay, continuing on here. Uh, by the way, this toolbar might have confused some people. This is, I have Photoshop open on this machine, so this, this toolbar over here was visible. So let me just move that over. If that confused you in a previous video, I'm sorry. But anyway, this is the workspace we're using uh, Essentials with the Layers palette open. Okay, and um, as always, the first thing you want to do is make a folder in a known location. You know, so here's, you know, this folder I have for this course. And if I click on it, I have a resources folder. So I want you to do the same thing. Um, have a folder for this, this assignment. Within that folder, have a resources folder. And then in the resources folder, have the three images or the three files that I um, provided with this exercise. So there's a, a dog, a cat, and uh, a text file. So have your folder structure set up the same. Now this is vitally important uh, for InDesign projects. So this is not just something I'm telling you to do. Like what will you will save your all your InDesign projects should be similar to this in a folder because um, and I'll reiterate this as we go on. Your InDesign file will be located here when we get get around to saving it. All the images will be linked to that file. So if you just took the InDesign file and like emailed it to somebody, it, the, those links would be broken. Okay, so whenever you're transporting, say, or moving, or saving an InDesign project, you have to save the whole folder, the entire folder, okay, with the images linked to it. So uh, let's just save the folder, or save the file, and then we'll uh, get moving on here with this exercise finally. Okay, so we're in InDesign. You got your folder structure set up. You got your files downloaded. File, new, document. This is gonna be for print. Now somewhere, there should be a default letter size and it will say 51P by 66P. Well, what the heck is a P? It's a, it's a pica and which makes sense for um, when you really get into print media it's a unit of measure that can be divided both by two and by three so it's really nice you know when you're doing a uh, print layout but for normal human beings uh, if we come over here to the you know 51p 66p uh, life is much easier if you make it inches so instead of pike hit the drop down menu choose inches and this is what we want, eight and a half width, 11 height. That's great. Okay, so just leave everything at, at the defaults right now, because it's, it's part of the, the lesson we're doing here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Click Create, and this is what you're gonna get here. Never work on an untitled document. File, save as, navigate to, um, the folder that we made, and it'll take me a minute here because I got lots and lots of stuff. Okay, so here I'm in Intro to Graphic Design. Here's the file I made, and now again it's going to reside here. So um, let's call this uh, InDesign Setup, and then your name. Okay, please stick your name in the file because it makes my life much, much easier. So InDesign set up your name, .indd. Make sure you're in the correct folder. Click Save. And we're ready to roll. I'll just uh, continue this in the next video.